Hello, Internet! My name is Aqua, and you're watching the Aqua Vlog. Oh. I've got this whole thing, like, at an angle, because if I have it over this way, like, flat, you can see the wall over here. I don't want that. So if anything looks a little, like, shifted, it's because it is. As always, if you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments below, and I'll answer them the following week. This week, we have none. So we're going to the next thing. I wanted to talk a little bit about Half-Life, because that series just wrapped this last week, and it was a little, uh, a little crazy. So, I didn't particularly enjoy the last boss fight. I did somewhat enjoy the game overall. I don't want to say that I did, necessarily, because it's very frustrating. There are some parts that are just, like, too frustrating for me, and it's, it's very old. Oh. In video game terms, at least. Like, I guess I don't want to say that. It's not even 20 years old yet. It came out in 98. But it has that old game mentality and sensibility and design of just like, just give your player whatever. Like, it doesn't even matter. Just do whatever you want and it's good. There are a lot of bits, not a lot necessarily, but there's a few bits that are just like straight up unfair. And that's not good for a game, especially these days. Like, if, this, if that game came out today, it wouldn't review all that well, I don't think. I mean, if it had updated graphics and everything even. The design of everything sound design, the, like, enemy designs, and, like, the design of the world, and, like, how everything happens, and just, like, how the whole thing unfolds is really, really cool still. Like, that holds up just fine. It's just the actual, like, gameplay, not the mechanics necessarily, like, the mechanics are fine, but just the way some parts were designed is just not, <laughs> not great. Especially the last boss fight. Like, apparently what happened with me was kind of a glitch or something. Uh, somebody commented on one of the videos that it was... Not something that was supposed to happen, where he just, like, kept shooting over and over. And I looked up later online about some, like, strategies and stuff to beat it. And if I did some of those, it might be a little bit more beatable. Since I didn't know about those, though, and, like, the game wasn't giving me any kind of feedback, like, when I was shooting the crystals, like, nothing was happening besides the crystals were blowing up. And when I was, like, going through the portals, it just kind of, like, stopped. And in every previous thing, apparently you can kill the big dude in the last portal that I went into. But in every previous encounter, you just run away from them, basically. So I didn't know that they were even killable. And apparently if you do kill them, then you stop getting teleported. You can do other stuff to, like, hurt it before you actually, like, shoot in the head thing. Because, like, the head opens up. You can't even tell it from the ground. Or even when you go up, then the thing, like, floats up with you, so you still can't tell. Like, I was looking at it. I was looking back at the footage. I was looking directly at it when its head opened up, but I couldn't even tell in the gameplay because I was too busy avoiding everything. So there's a lot of not really sensible stuff with that. So overall, I would say I like the game more than dislike it, but it's certainly not on any of my favorites list or anything. I just wanted to like kind of address that. I don't hate the game, so don't <laughs> don't uh, think that I'm just like this huge like I don't know curmudgeon or not fan. So I am a fan of Half Life Two which I'm going to be playing soon. Not so much a fan of Half-Life 1. Also, haven't played any PC games from that era, so, like, I don't know what to expect at all. And that was not what it was. I also did want to mention, which I already did, that I am going to be playing Half-Life 2 on the channel. I'm not sure when. It won't be this week. Uh, might be starting a couple weeks from now. So, look forward to that, I guess. If you enjoyed the series, hopefully I'll be able to, like, keep it rolling and keep making it funny for you guys. I want to do some other stuff first. I kind of wanted to start a new series first, but I don't know if I can really do that and then start Half-Life 2 in like a kind of good time. Because there's a lot of other games I want to be playing on the channel, like Rocket League and Minecraft, Kerbal Space Program, and now uh, Counter-Strike Go, Counter-Strike Global Offensive, which was gifted to me. And I also was thinking about Cave Story Plus. Uh, I was looking through my Steam library and I saw that on there like... Maybe I'll do that sometime, but I also want to do, like, thing, the two big games I really want to play at some point on the channel, because I haven't played them before, but one I've seen a playthrough of, and the other uh, I've heard very good things about my entire life, is Chrono Trigger and Earthbound. So hopefully I'll be getting through those at some point, but they are JRPGs, so they're going to be, like, a long series. So, I gotta figure out, like, a time slot when I can do that kind of thing. We'll just see, but they're gonna be coming at some point, so just keep that in mind. If you follow me on Twitter, you'll have seen this entire past week. It's just been full of just fun, wonderful, joyous, technological issues all week. And started off on Monday, 
when I uh, tried to record the vlog, which I'm doing right now, the software that I usually use, which is the basic log Logitech Cam. <laughs> Logitech webcam software wouldn't record. I hit the record button and nothing happened. So I'm like, cool, how to work around this. So I opened up OBS, recorded on OBS, and the frame rate was all weird and funky, but I couldn't do anything about it. So I just had to roll with it. And then the rest of the week, I used the camera app on Windows to use it. And that was all freaking out all over the place. And I didn't even realize it until I put up the first video, which I think was, I guess it would have been Half-Life, the ending episode of that. And it didn't happen in that, but I know it happened in some other videos. The picture would just like flip upside down and like go sideways or something. I need to like frame by frame it. I don't like that issue. So I reverted from the Windows anniversary update back to the thing before it because that's what was causing the issue. And it's been out for like over a month now and it hasn't been fixed by either Logitech or Microsoft. So it's just kind of screwed over. And I knew people were having issues with uh, Logitech webcams with the anniversary update. And the only reason that I updated in the first place is so I could play Halo 5 Forge, which is awesome. It's just like a free thing available on PC, and you can do uh, custom games on it, or you can just do regular Forge stuff, and you can see other people's maps. Eventually, they're going to have that available. For some reason, I couldn't see any of them. But it was really cool, and I wanted to do some videos in it. Unfortunately, it's not going to happen. Because it screwed up everything. I think I also had some other software issues that I can't really remember that were like fairly minor, but... The main thing was, webcam's not working. Kind of important for the whole, whole thing I'm doing here. So I had to go back. Ba 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 ba. And then a couple days ago, I had an issue with my controller disconnecting. Actually, this has been happening all week as well, where my controller was like disconnecting mid game, and I had a day where it was happening like every 10 minutes. So I was trying to figure out what was going on with that. I think it was the cable, honestly. I, I don't know. Like, it was a supposedly a really nice cable, but apparently not, like, it just kind of stopped working all of a sudden, which is just always wonderful, you know? I was having a lot of issues with it. Even, I tried using it to charge my phone, and it, like, it said it was charging, and, like, the little charge icon was on there, and it wasn't doing anything. It was just heating up the phone, which usually, when it's charging, it doesn't really heat up at all. But I freaking picked up the phone, I'm just, like, looking at freaking articles before I go to bed, and then the little overheat symbol came on, I'm like, why is it overheating? That doesn't make any sense. So I took off the little cover thing I have, touched it all around the sides, almost burning my hand. So hot. So that cable is, uh, wonderful. I don't know what brand it is, otherwise I would call them out. Thing is, I did it dumb, and I thought it was something on the controller, on the connector side. I, uh, took a little tool, and I was going to, like, kind of, like, crimp back down on the... Oh, let me just show you. It's that little thing right there. See it? Can you focus? It's that little thing right there. I tried squishing that a little bit. Kinda broke it. Broke some of the uh, the plastic off that holds the pins in place. So I can't use a, the, 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 the cable at all on that anymore. And my other controller is pretty much broken as well, so I could use it, but it was like, the casing is broken, so it was really uncomfortable to hold. And for some reason the vibration doesn't work on Windows. It's a DualShock 4. I don't know what's up with that. So, I had to go out and get a PC wireless controller adapter, which cost 30 bucks, which I wasn't too happy about. Which, you know, that's not a lot for a lot of people when you don't have a job. It's kind of a lot. But I can at least use my controller again, which I kind of need for, you know, like, some of the games I play for videos. And also, I play a lot of Rocket League in the, like, downtime, in between videos and stuff, because I need something to do, just kind of like unwind. Because I love doing videos, like, it's, it's working on stuff, and I have to use my brain a lot. And then I just want to play a game just to play a game sometimes. And that's Rocket League. And that needs a controller. The last issue I had that I can uh, really comment about that I know of and remember is all my USB stuff has been turning off randomly. So I just figured it out just now. It was because, I don't know, really, but I have three sets of two USBs on the back of my computer plus a set of USB 3.0s. Right? Okay. This is all I had. I had my microphone, I had my webcam, and my mouse plugged into three of those six USB ports, all, like, different from vertical each other. I don't know if, like, the, like, I don't know how it was wired, if it was, like, the three vertical were on the same thing or something, or, like, the two horizontal. I thought it was a two horizontal, or if they're all just on the same thing. The Logitech webcam that I have apparently takes up a lot of electricity or something, because every time I turn that on, my mic and my... Uh, that thing, mouse, and my webcam would all turn off. And that's just great, isn't it? So what I ended up doing is something that is not recommended, 
by everything that I've seen, but it's the only thing I can do right now. I took the uh, keyboard, I had two USB ports for my keyboard, I was plugged into the USB 3.0, moved that to the regular two USB 2.0, and put the camera on the USB 3.0. And now it's working fine because it's all on like different things. It's really annoying. My stuff kept turning off randomly all week, couldn't figure it out. And it was because every time the webcam tried to turn on, which I think uh, Skype was doing that even though I have a webcam off. Uh, it happened on a Google Hangouts thing. Just, it's great. It's the best. Essentially this week has just been the most joyous week of my life. I get to fix all my stuff. I get to spend money that I don't have a lot of right now, and I get to be frustrated all week. It was great. But hopefully now all the stuff has been fixed, so I can have a nice smooth week this week and get back to a normal schedule. And also, like, all these issues just completely threw off my schedule for everything, for sleep and for videos and for, like, applying at places and just everything I was trying to do, because everything took, like, eight times longer than it should have. What a joy. Video of the week this week. I'm remembering it. It's going to happen. Video of the week this week is Freeman's Mind, which is a series that started back in 2008, I think it is. And it's uh, something that I watched first, like, introduction to Half-Life 1 that I had. I believe I had watched, or I would played through, rather, Half-Life 2 by that point. But I hadn't seen anything about Half-Life 1 or anything until I saw that series. Great series. I've been rewatching it lately, and i uh catching back up on it, basically. I'm just watching back through. I'm not catching back up. I've seen it before, but I'm just watching it through again, and I feel like the comedy still holds up, and it's just very well done. Brilliant stuff. So, go watch that. There's gonna be a link on the video somewhere, and you can click on it, and go watch it. It'll be to the playlist, so you can watch the entire thing. You should do it. It's fun time. Last thing I want to say is I'm planning on having a new video type thing coming out this weekend, a new series, if you will. Uh, it won't be a Let's Play thing, it'll be something that I had talked about before, I believe, but it's kind of like a different incarnation of it a little bit. Look forward to that. It'll be coming out on Sunday. I'm hoping it to be more of a like produced show with like more editing and more like stuff in it. So hopefully that'll be up and you should check it out. Yeah. As always, thank you to everybody who has been like, commenting, subscribed, and Patreon and everything else. You people are awesome. As always. And you're beautiful. Don't forget that. It was beautiful every day of your life. Don't forget it. Because Aqua told you. And so you have to think that. Because what I say is true. 100% of the time. Just like babies can fly. You lost the power of flight when you were one year old. It's the truth. But that'll do it for this week. Now, see you next week. Bye!